the American Dream Mall, located in East Rutherford, New Jersey, and about 10 minutes from New York City. This mall has so much to offer, and I'm going to show you some of the different attractions, and also try and save you a little bit of money as well. I will mostly be covering Nickelodeon Universe. I wanted to show you some of the other different attractions offered at the American Dream Mall. This is one of the most beautiful malls I have ever been to, with some of the most unique stores. One of the first things you'll notice upon entering the mall is the crazy decor. I mean, they really went all out here. One thing to keep in mind, you do have to pay to park, but it's kind of expected in New Jersey. I will say, it's very reasonable, right around $5. You just scan your ticket at one of these convenient kiosks when you're ready to leave. This mall has something for everyone. They had these dream riders, and kids were having a blast. Very expensive. These will run you roughly a dollar per minute. And if you're late, an extra two dollars per minute. So don't be late. They also have an indoor ice skating rink. They have Sea Life, which is an aquarium. They also have Legoland Discovery Center. And you can kind of get a package deal with both of those for around $39 a person, all the way up to $52 a person. It really just depends on the day of the week and different specials. I highly recommend getting your tickets online as they offer specials. Activate offers high-tech games that test your team's physical and mental agility across a wide variety of real-life challenges. One of the coolest things about this mall is the giant Ferris wheel, the Dream Wheel. This will run you about $25 for an adult and kids under 12 are about $19. Highly recommend this experience. And of course, you've got the DreamWorks Water Park. This water park is insane, offering something for everyone. They offer canopies that you can rent for the day. The pricing is very similar to Nickelodeon Universe, and I'm gonna get into that pricing very shortly. So if you're like me and you love amusement parks, you're gonna love Nickelodeon Universe. There's so much to do here. Prices range from about $60 for an all-day wristband all the way up to about $100. Now, it's a lot cheaper to go here during the weekdays. They also offer a points pass, but keep in mind you're paying about $6 to $12 per ride. The points pass is also only available on certain days, mostly weekdays. You can purchase your tickets at Guest Services, which is located to the right before heading down the escalator. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about some of their different attractions and rides that they have to offer at Nickelodeon Universe. The first one I'm going to start off with is the Shredder. Such an awesome, unique spinning coaster. At nighttime, all of their coasters come alive with great lighting packages and music playing. It really adds to the experience. That green coaster that you see behind there, well, that's TMNT Shell Razor. It's actually been down for about nine months now, so I don't really know what's going on with it. Make sure to check the website. They always give updates. If there's a special attraction that you really want to get on, I strongly recommend checking to see the ride maintenance schedule. In my opinion, Shell Racer is probably their signature attraction and one of the best coasters there, if not one of the best roller coasters in New Jersey. When you get to the top of that lift hill, there is some amazing views of the entire city of New York and New Jersey. It's incredible. The launches are so intense. Next coaster we have, Slime Streak. That's the orange track with the cool green train. It's not too intense and a great coaster for your young rider, offering some great views of the entire park. And because it is such a great coaster for young kids, it tends to get a pretty long line. In fact, when we went, it was one of the only coasters we actually had to wait in line for. Sandy's Blasting Bronco. This is an awesome launch coaster, very intense, pushing almost six Gs. You go forward 
and then on your return trip it's on a turntable turns you and you do the entire layout in reverse very cool and unique roller coaster next up Timmy's Half Pipe Havoc what a cool coaster this is I do realize that some people don't consider it to be a roller coaster but whatever you do consider it make sure you ride it because it is fun much like Shell Razor where there's a window that you can look out and see all of the city. Skyline Scream offers the same experience. Big windows up at the top of this drop tower that you can see the entire city, Newark Airport, all kinds of cool stuff. The drop isn't so intense. I would say this is very comparable to Hershey Park's triple towers, probably the Hershey Tower, if I had to compare it to another similar drop tower. One of the other must-do attractions is Crane Prime Pandemonium. And this swinging pendulum ride does a complete rotation. What makes this so unique is the fact that there is the roof and you literally feel like your feet are going to get ripped off. It's not the tallest pendulum ride I've ever been on, but I'll tell you what, it definitely gives you a rush. They have a lot of great kids rides at Nickelodeon Universe too many to list really but this is definitely a park worth visiting it's worth the money especially if you go on a weekday you can really have a good time here a couple of other notable things they do offer a fast pass basically skipping the majority of the lines this will run you about forty dollars extra do i think this is worth it absolutely not it only includes 10 different attractions and it is a variable price meaning it might be forty dollars one day and it might go up to sixty the next day they do offer a ropes course and this is an extra fee this will run you about twenty twenty five dollars i've never done it so i can't really comment on it but it looks cool the park also offers an after dark pass which will allow you to get two hours into the park before closing. So if the park's open till 8 p.m., if you get there at 6 and you want to do this, great. It's very expensive. My suggestion, I would just do the park during the regular hours so that you make sure you have enough time to actually do all the attractions. This will cost you roughly $45 to $55. I hope everyone enjoyed. This was my review of the American Dream Mall and Nickelodeon Universe. If you do have any questions, feel free to comment below. One of the things that makes my channel so unique is the fact that we love to help people. So any questions at all, happy to help. If you wouldn't mind, please give this video a like. Really do appreciate it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button.